JMS Flower Farms has been helping grape growers protect their vines from insects and fungal diseases with their exclusive product, JMS Stylet Oil, since 1992. Visit www.stylitoil.com today. Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Pacific Nut Producer Magazine reporting to you from the annual Tri-County Walnut Day in Visalia. And I'm here today with Charles Burks from USDA ARS who talked about the relationship between the coddling moth and the navel orange worm, the damage they cause, and how to go about controlling it. So the relationship between coddling moth and navel orange worm in walnuts particularly. A lot of the production in walnuts and a lot of the research has been in northern uh, California and uh, typically, uh, traditionally, navel orange worm has been thought of as a secondary pest that uh, comes in after, uh, you know, to, to injuries, typically to injuries that uh, are caused by coddling moth that can come in through other things such as walnut blight. But uh, So basically, it's been considered that if you controlled walnut blight and you controlled coddling moth, then your control of navel orange worm is sufficient. And uh, I think there's been a couple of situations where that kind of has uh, fallen down and proven not to be uh, good or sufficient. Um, one situation is really that down here, particularly in the Tulare Kings Fresno area, the southern portion of the walnut producing region, navel orange worm has for some time been a more important pest. Uh, you have more heat degree to accumulation over the year. Navel orange worm, I think, has tended over the years to be an issue in its own right. The other thing that has occurred in recent years, if you look at northern San Joaquin Valley or the Sacramento Valley, is, you know, after four years of drought, uh, after a couple of years with uh, low uh, chill accumulation in the, uh, in the spring, so you had uneven um, maturity, you had delayed harvests, um, you had people getting uh, hit with, uh, with uh, the uh, navel orange worm uh, up farther in the north. Um, so, again, in terms of control, in terms of uh, insecticide pro, okay, first of all, monitoring, monitoring, again, uh, there have been pheromone traps for coddling moths for years, and so there's a very well worked out protocol for uh, pheromone trapping for coddling moth for navel orange worm. We've had uh, synthetic uh, pheromone uh, uh, lures for about uh, three years, and people are still, I think, in some ways, learning uh, what the data mean and uh, the strengths and limitations of, uh, of uh, this tool. Um, in terms of control, a lot of, again, um, a lot of the trials that are done uh, tend to focus on coddling moth. Again, the idea being that if you control coddling moth, you're probably controlling uh, navel orange worm. So, for example, I think you have more data from trials on uh, one, you know, 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B uh, um, timings uh, compared to uh, trials that deal with husk split. Um, again, on the uh, mating disruption uh, side, uh, there are uh, challenges in walnuts uh, compared to other nut crops for both mating disruption for uh, coddling moth and mating disruption for navel orange worm. Uh, mating disruption for coddling moth, again, there have been some good demonstration projects. But if you start to have other pests get out of control, then people start to ask, why am I doing mating disruption when I still have to do you know, insecticide treatments? On the uh, navel orange worm side, uh, the areas where you have the greatest navel orange worm pressure uh, most consistently and the areas and the varieties where you have the most consistent pressure, the older varieties, uh, down here, sir, and vina tend to be in smaller blocks. Uh, the navel orange worm uh, uh, disperses a great deal, so uh, uh, the smaller blocks can be somewhat problematic. So basically, um, I think that there's still work that needs to be done on integrated management uh, in these pests, how better to uh, combine the insecticide uh, and uh, uh, mating disruption uh, components. And uh, fortunately, I think that the tools, both in monitoring and disruption as well as the some of the insecticide tools are evolving so I think that these tools will come along as time comes along.
Learn how to improve your pest control management and wellness by reading Pacific Nut Producer Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgNet.com.